So understand that if we reduce the angle between the apparent power and the active power, we will thereby reduce the reactive power, which we have to increase now our power factor. So the, 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 the whole idea about all this now is for us to be able to increase the power factor in such a way that we will have it nearly equal to one. By so doing, we'll be able to reduce all the, the reactive power, then we'll be able to utilize all the power that is living from the National Electricity Supply Company coming to our building. This is very important. Electricity Company. So we'll be using a capacitor bank, like I did mention initially, to improve the power factor. So one famous factor that decreasing power factor is the lagging current present due to inductive loads. So when we have inductive load, we will thereby be having um, power uh, current that will be lagging, thereby reducing the power factor, which we are not able to utilize the, all the amount of power that is living from the uh, uh, national electricity or the national grid company coming to our building. In order to improve the power factor, capacitors are installed in parallel to the equipment running on low power factor or to the supplier. The leading current drawn by such capacitors corrects the lagging reactive component of the load current also reduces or reducing the phase difference between current and voltage. I'll take you to a graphic where we have our load, which is in this case, we have a motor. So we now have our capacitors that is being connected to each of the different legs of that motor in order to improve the power factor. Thereby, we be able now to utilize all the power that is living from the national supply company coming to our electric motor. Where a capacitor is installed for power factor correction, it must be provided with a means of, or a means for its prompt automatic discharge, discharge. Immediately the power, the supply is disconnected. This requirement may or shall not apply for or to small capacitor. The next partner is going to be an example. So I'm going to drive you now through an example so we get to calculate and then to see how to um, select an appropriate um, capacitor which will be able to improve our power factor thereby we able to utilize all the power. The Washington Macaulay Enterprises, please do like, share, subscribe, and keep sharing as well as turn on the notification button so that anytime we upload a new video, you're going to be notified. And thanks for watching and keep watching that is living from the national supply company coming to our load. An example, a three-phase, five kilowatts inductive load or inductive motor has a power factor of 0 0.75 lagging. What size of capacitor in kilovolt amper reactive is required to improve the power factor to 0 0.90? So in this case now, you notice that we have this load and which is three phase. This is a previous power factor. So we want to improve the power factor to 0 0.9, which will be, will, be, will, be, will be able now to utilize all the power that is living from the national grid company coming to our building or to our load, which is five kilowatts. I'll take you to two different steps, which I have used in this um, example. So the first solution, which is the table system, and then the next now will be the calculation system, which I'm going to drive you through. So we have a motor of five kilowatts from a table. So we are going to uh, look for a multiplier to improve the power factor from 0 0.75 to 0 0.90. So in this case, we had 0 0.398. So I'll take you to a table From 0 0.75 to 0 0.90, so 
we had a multiplier of 0 0.398. So let me check again if it is loaded. So we'll be able to identify. Okay, now we have it here. So we have um, a power factor of 0 0.75. So we need to increase it to 0 0.90. So 0 0.75. So we go to our chart. 0 0.75, this is the existing power factor, as you can see here, which is cos phi one. So this is a proposed power factor which we are looking for. So our existing power factor now is 0 0.75. So we move now to our chart to look for 0 0.75. So as you can see, we have 0 0.75 here. So now we want to look now for our existing power factor is 0 0.75. So our new power factor, which we are looking for now will be 0 0.90. So we we'll move to 0 0.90. In this case, we will have 0 0.90 each year. So if we start counting from here, we see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we we'll move down. We'll move to 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we have 0 0.398. So we move now to our exercise. We have 0 0.398. This is where we had our multiplier. So required capacitor in kilovolt amper reactive to improve power factor from 0 0.75 to 0 0.90. Required capacitor, which is in kilovolt amper reactive, which is equal to kilowatts, the active power multiplied by the multiplier of 0 0.75 and 0 0.90, which is equal to 5 kilowatts multiplied by 0 0.398. So we had a value of 1.99 kilovolt amper reactive. So this is the the amount which is required, or if we are going to purchase now the capacitor bank, we are going to get. 1.99 kilovolt amper reactive capacitor band that will be used to improve our power factor from 0 0.75 to 0 0.90 in order for us to utilize all the amount of power that is living from the national supply company coming to our, our load. And since it is a three-phase motto in this case, so we have to use now 1.99 divided by 3, which is equal to 0 0.66 three kilovolt amper reactive. So we have this, this amount which will be distributed in the different legs as we saw here. So we'll distribute all the different amounts. You put the first capacitor here, which is 0 0.663, 0 0.663 here as well as 0 0.663 here in order to reduce or improve the power factor to 0 0.90. So we move now to the second solution, which is a calculation method. Our motto is five kilo, kilowatts. Original power factor, which is a cos phi one, is equal to 0 0.75. The final power factor, which is cos phi two, which is equal to 0 0.90. So we will now look for our cos phi one and cos phi two. So since we have cos phi one, which is equal to 0 0.75, so to look for this uh, theta one or phi one, we we'll now have cos inverse of 0 0.75. So this is going to, we're going to remove this here. It's going to be a cos inverse of 0 0.75, as you can see here now. So which is equal to 41 degree, which is equal to 41 degree or 41.41 degrees. So tang theta now will be equal to the tang of this angle, which is here which is equal to 0 0.8819. So look for theta two, the same procedure we're gonna use, and then we had this result or this value. So now we move to a required capacitor, which is in kilovolt amper reactive to improve power factor from 0 0.75 to 0 0.90. So required capacitor in kilovolt amper reactive, which is equal to, this is the formula that we are gonna be using, which is the power, which is the active power into tank theta one minus tank theta two. So which is equals to, we put filling all the different variables and we had the same result that we had previously when we used the table system. 
So we still use the same way, 1.99 divided by three to distribute them in the different legs. So actually this is um, just to give us a highlight on how to do our calculations to select the appropriate size of capacitor that we will be using to improve our power factor. This is a capacitor band, as you can see. And then also we'll be able to understand all that so that when we are doing our calculations, we understand as well the different types of loads that are used in our building and to know what are the loads that we have. If we have inductive load, by so doing, we'll, be, we'll, we'll have to look for a way to improve the power factor because the amount of power that is living from the supply or to, from our utility company coming to our building or coming to our load will not be able to utilize all the amount of power as we saw in the different calculations or in our explanations, which is very important. So um, this video is um, just to give us a highlight, a guide as well to understand what is power factor and also to um, improve the power factor so that we'll be able to utilize the amount of power that is living from the utility supply company coming to our building or coming to our loot. Until then, you're watching Makoge Enterprises.